So Jason says there's something called an Asian jumping worm. Mm -hmm. We're looking for the mysterious Asian, Asian jumping worm. Jumping worm. How do you know if they're Asian? Do they have squinty eyes? Coloration, man. Are they yellow? And, and, and some of the behavior. Are they yellow? Like no, they're, 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 these ones are kind of like a brown, bluish bit. I picture um, them eating with chopsticks. They're very, very vigorous. They like to lose their tails whenever they feel threatened, kind of like a lizard does, but it's kind of cool. So they're great for um, fishing. They're, they're, they're really excellent fish bait. Fish bait. And oh, they cool. like shady areas like we have right here where I'm watering. Oh, nice pile. And that's just a pile, big pile of dead vegetation. As long as it stays shady, that upper level, uh -huh. the upper layer can dry out a little bit. But that provides shade inside of that mound. Everything on the inside of that mound will, over time, be turned into worm casting. Mm -hmm. Poop. Worm poop. He ate my solar and, light. And, and so he's describing the, the, the worm casting as, as, as robbing the soil of nutrients. And that seems disingenuous. Because any and, all, have to break it down? You know, any and all worm castings are, are low in nutrients. They're like well, one cool. zero zero well, on, on the MP, MPK scale as a fertilizer. But what they do have, instead of providing nitrogen, is a source of the Micro the microbes, yeah. Microbes, so, yeah. The source of the microbes. Sorry, I was, how'd you microbes? Sorry, I'm sitting here swallowing my own spit here. <laughs> it's, 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 you it's, want it's, a it's, drink? It's, yes, that would be nice. Oh, wait a minute, this is beer. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Now. Probably warm beer. Mm. Been holding it for a while. It's the same beer mm. from my tacos. Juicy. Literally. Anyway. Oh, microbes. They, 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 yeah, they deliver, they deliver in their castings a host of those microbes that are necessary. For plants to exchange their sugars with for nutrients, so and that's also how the worms digest the food because they don't have any teeth. Really, yeah, it's, it's the very same microbes. Oh, cool. so um, hey, if it's free. Use it right. If we didn't have Smart the worm. worms, then this how portion, would, uh, this portion of uh, of the decomposition cycle would be taken care of by those very same microbes, but they, they wouldn't, wouldn't have an around? effect. They wouldn't have an effective means of getting around from point A to point B where they're most needed. The and worm can smell it a mile away. They like water. Yeah, so they we, love we, the shade. So back there in the shade yeah. where those piles of grass are. Oh, I can see that. Since we pulled them up a couple of days ago and they're not likely to root on, on anything over there. Away. We're just going to soak yeah. that. Oh, my anyway. We're going to soak that in. I'll move this way. <laughs> and pretty soon yeah, the worms will start there. moving into that. But we'll move those We'll move those out into the garden into other little piles like this one here before too awful long. Oh, it's a plant. It's yeah. Like it. There you go. That was an older pile, mostly old, older dead, dead vegetation. I we want to make sure the vegetation is dead. And this is the other thing that's important to remember about. What's that? The, about oh no, these these worms they have a voracious appetite. They'll eat everything. They cannot eat it unless it is dead. Oh, not only can they not eat it unless it is dead. They cannot eat it unless it's it dead that, oh, and okay. has decomposed to the point where their little tiny mouths can get around it. So they have to be really tiny. So they're not going to eat all of your mulch down to nothing until that mulch is already decomposed to the point hops. where they can eat it. It's a grasshopper. Make sure yeah. hops at the... Oh, that was a butterfly. I tripped over your flag. Oh, that's a stupid gas line flag. You can pull those up now, I think. There you go. It is a tripping head at this point. So once again, it's kind of silly to to go. Oh no, the worms, the worms. Oh, there's invasive worms. Oh, they're bad for no, they're not bad for the soil. They're great for the soil. Butterfly, like, there you go, splash. <laughs> they're great for the soil. I've been told that they don't retain moisture very well. To be continued.